This was just a terrible shock. The terrible shock, a raging fire in the Port Washington community. Residents reeling from the thought of losing the only landmarked home in their tiny village of Baxter Estates. The Baxter family lived in it for many generations and has a great history. And we've watched it deteriorate over the last few years. Built in 1692, Baxter House has been a source of North Shore pride for 300 years. Recently purchased by Sabrina Wu of Flushing, Queens, it's been unoccupied as she submitted plans to demolish it and rebuild a replica or two on the bucolic property overlooking Manhasset Bay and Baxter Pond. There's a lot of discussion about, you know, whose fault this is, and ultimately, no matter how the fire started, you know, in my opinion, I think that it really lies at the owner's feet because if it was an accident, well, she didn't maintain the house. Is the fire suspicious in any way? I have, I have no comment. I'm sorry. It's, if that's okay. Uh -huh. Did you, you plan to tear the house down, or were you? You I'm just, sorry, I'm, just, I'm sorry. It's a shame, it's a loss. This is the namesake for our village. More than 500 residents have joined a Facebook group to fight to save and restore what remains of Baxter House. What we found is an owner that basically adopted a policy of what we call demolition by neglect. Neighbors claim Wu declined to preserve architectural and historical elements. You know, she's wanted to demolish it for a long time and now it's demolished. <laughs> Once the fire marshal, arson squad, and building inspector complete investigations, homeowner Wu, her attorney and architect, will testify before the Landmark and Preservation Commission. From Port Washington, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. Village trustees say if Baxter House is deemed structurally sound, the priority would be to rebuild, restore, and maintain it.